All right, well, welcome back. There's been a few little changes since we last visited. I mentioned last time I'd sort of done most of the three quadrants here. I've started on the last one. One of the other things I've now done is made a big start on this roof, which was quite difficult. But I think I've sort of got it worked out now. As I mentioned previously in this build, so much of this build is just filled in with bricks. There was like eight or ten bricks high here. So you can fill for a lot of building materials in here. And it was a little bit difficult for me to work out how all of these roof tiles actually kind of aligned. But I think I've kind of got it worked out now. I did accidentally, however, remove the other pole, that uh, grappling pole, which was, where was that? Over here somewhere, but that's okay. And we've sort of started fixing uh, one little quadrant here. There's a few little details that I've got to kind of fix up, like above my head there, it's off. But you can see you're starting to get that real kind of cathedral kind of feel about the roof of this place, which is really awesome. Uh, it's going to be so spectacular when it's finished. I can't wait. It's one of the really great things about this city wall block. It just gives, as you'll see kind of above my head there, it just gives you those beautiful kind of curved outer edges when you're building with it. It's just a crazy nice block to build with. So we've made a start on that, and as we mentioned previously, we've gone and got the uh, crucible now, and we also got a whole lot of fired bricks, and as usual, you know who is having the biggest whinge, because he loves to whinge. Did you hear him there? Oh, so sorry I built your smelter for you, buddy. So oh, sorry. <laughs> Alrighty, so, and what we wanted to sort of prioritize that for was so that we could sort of get the copper axes up and running eventually. And for that, we needed the copper bars. So, what do we have here? Oh, there we go, copper bars. So, charcoal and copper ore. All right, well, we can probably throw some of that together now and have that cooking while we're away. A wood log, so we'll craft a whole, whole mess of that. And in terms of everything else, we're basically ready to head off on a mission now. So as we were talking about earlier, oh, actually there's one little thing I forgot to do. Uh, enhance equipment. I forgot to enhance my forest longbow, which is the one that we looted last episode. This guy's the nearest builder. Oh, we can only enhance it one. That's a bit of a bugger. And we hadn't done our hunter's bow either, so it's all good. Don't mind that. Oh. All right. Well, now we're sorted. So I think we'll leave uh, the rest of the crafting and, uh, well, building rather, for this. I'll mess around with this. I've spent probably about five or six hours offline just messing around with this. It's a big mission trying to kind of get this building done. But as I said, if I actually did it outright, it would take me a hell of a lot longer. So in terms of our quest, all we've got to do now is reach the capital, which we were talking about earlier on. So as we discussed, what we'll do is we'll head up to the Riverwoods Ancient Spire. And now that we've got our new glider, we'll see just how far we can get. 
So we've got a head kind of behind us and a little bit to the right. So if I'm not mistaken, something in a that kind of direction. So it looks like there's no red shroud over there, so we should be okay. See if we can actually make it all the way. I completely missed my double jump off the end there. That was a bit uh, ham-fisted of me. Should be able to make it to this little ledge here and walk our way around the outside of this. Yeah, yeah there we go. Piece of cake. So I believe just sort of looking at where we are in terms of how far through the game we are. Oh, sorry about that little guys. I really believe at this stage we should sort of try to avoid as much trouble as po possible. <laughs> so now I think we're going to have to take a bit of a journey through the shroud here. And a bit of a long journey through the shroud at that. So I don't think we'll make that section over there. And the abandoned hunter camp is a heck of a long way around, but it doesn't really seem like it's completely necessary for us to go all the way around. Because there's just some blue shroud here, which is fine for us to get through. And it looks like, oh, there we go, we've even got a path. Okay, so there's an elixir well over there. Oops. Not paying attention again, as usual. There is an elixir well there we could go and do, but I've got enough of those at the moment. And to be honest, this is the sort of thing you can sort of start doing in your own time, to be honest. Now, before we dive headlong into here, we need to work out if we're actually going to be able to get over to Pike Man's Reach. Logic would tell us to sort of Try and go over here and make our way this way. So it might be a little bit of a journey because you can see there with that topography that there's uh, a little bit of height there. So we're just going to have to give it our best through here. I'll go away, flowers. All right. So, looks like we can kind of make it over to Hoxter Square. Oh, blue flower. You know what those things mean? Shroud sack. We want as many of as we can possibly get. Ooh, there's another one over here. Fantastic. It seems like, yep, there was a little way out of the shroud just here. Okay, so is that where we need to get to up there? It looks like it is. So, looks like it's been a pretty safe journey so far, surprisingly. All right, Pike Mead's Reach. We made it. So.
level 15. It's, it's all right. We're not too stressed about that now. We've come up against a few level 15s from time to time. So I wonder what he was protecting. Anything in particular? arrows there nice apart from that I can't really see a lot there's another one somewhere here and you'll notice I always use my wooden arrows I just stockpile my good arrows wherever I can because I don't want to use them <laughs> Not until I really, really, really need to. Alright, so, as we've spoken about, let's get that flame shrine going. Alright, well that is going to be it for this one. We've got a heck of a lot to do in the second, exploring this entire area here. So, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time on Glitch Gaming.